So today, we have two brutes going head to head. Brick from the Borderlands games taking on Bane. Who wins? Let's find out. Brick is one of the four uh, original Vault Hunters and specializes in explosive weaponry and powerful melee attacks. He is the biggest, strongest, toughest, and most savage out of all the Vault Hunters. He's he downright loves hurting, killing, and decimating his opponents. He's strong enough to uh, send people in Hyperion loaders back several feet with his punches, as well as break through a force field surrounding a beacon after a few punches. He's durable enough to survive a massive explosion into lava while trying to save Mordecai, presumably with little to no harm, as he had no scratches, bruises, and or burns. He's a formidable fighter, as he has taken down large groups of bandits, loaders, and trained Hyperion doll soldiers with just his fists. His action skill is called Berserking. And in which he puts his guns away and starts fighting and killing everything in his path, only using his fists for a limited amount of time. During this, his strength and durability increases as he starts beating his opponents to death and he becomes resistant to all forms of attack. Also, his health continuously regenerates and the more people he kills, the longer it lasts, but it will eventually end. And after it does, he has to wait a while before he can do it again. By the way, we're not going to worry about levels, elements, or the color of a gun like if it's a legendary or not. He's going to be wearing a shield for extra protection, but after enough hits, it will deplete and you'll have to get covered to regenerate it. In this fight, he'll have a shotgun, a rocket launcher, and the club he had in the first game. In the other corner, we have Bane. Born to serve the life sentence of his father in prison, Bane created a super steroid venom that enhanced his physicality and gave him a nice healing factor. He can also continuously increase the amount of venom being injected into him through the tubes on his back, but if he injects too much, he might have a heart attack. The more venom in his body, the more enhanced his physicality and healing factor is. His average strength allows him to lift about 2 tons. His max was 15 tons though. He's durable enough to the point where bullets only cause artificial damage and he can fight virtually forever as his body doesn't release any fatigue toxins. Uh, he's actually quite a genius as he created this ven venom and he found out Batman was Bruce Wayne in less than a year with little evidence. He's a formidable hand-to-hand -hand combatant using his enhanced strength and endurance along with boxing, judo, and wrestling techniques. While in prison, he was undefeated even without the venom and he's beaten Nightwing and Batman before. He's a master tactician and finally, he's known as the man who broke the bet as he's the one that killed Batman. So, Bane is physically superior. Don't get me wrong, Brick's a beast, but he's limited by the game and doesn't have many actual feats. I mean, I guess they're closest in durability as Brick survived a massive uh, explosion into lava and was literally unharmed. Not to mention his shield will completely protect him until it's depleted. But Bane doesn't even react to being shot and stabbed multiple times. And he survived explosions and having his head smashed into concrete so hard it cracked. And he was still conscious and fighting. Plus he has a nice healing factor as well. Also Bane can just increase his physicality with his venom. So yeah, Bane is physically better. Same can be said about fighting skill as well. Brick is a brutal and sadistic fighter. But other than fighting against bandits, robots, and soldiers, he hasn't shown much hand-to-hand -hand skill. On the other hand, Bane is also brutal and has skill as he has beaten Nightwing and Batman. But Brick isn't out of the fight yet as he still has his weapons and his Berserker Rage. So how does his gun square up against Bane? Well, his shotgun and club probably won't do much if anything. His rocket launcher will hurt Bane as it is a rocket launcher, but it won't put him down. So, now for Brick's Rage. Can Bane survive the onslaught of punches from Brick? Well, first we need to know again that Brick has never fought an actual skilled fighter before. So, Bane will probably still be able to fight back here. And he can also just increase his Venom dosage. But, uh, Bane's hits won't slow Brick down at all during this. And his health will regenerate during this as well. So, who wins? Well, Brick's punches will actually hurt Bane, but this rage only lasts for a short period of time. And Bane has survived worse beatings than this. Because of this, I gotta go with Bane on this one. Bane wins. Like and subscribe, all the great stuff. Please hit the notification bell. See ya. Peace.